Something is wrong. And it's because we're not listening to each other. I was in Chicago a couple months ago, and I was invited to an improvised jam session, which is basically what you just saw, improvised music with a bunch of random musicians putting their names into a jar, sitting in a room, and waiting for their name to be called. I walked in with my partner, we put our names into the jar, we sat down in the room and waited while there were untold number of combinations of instrumentalists who were being put together via a gigantic dice that had nine sides. Whenever that number was rolled, that's how many names they took out of the jar. So we witnessed a, a violinist with a vibraphonist, a drummer with a saxophonist, um, a saxophonist with uh, a guitarist, uh, guitarist, vibraphone, drummer, bass, all combinations. And finally, my name got called when they rolled the number seven. That's a lot of people to put on stage. A vibraphonist, a bassist, a violinist, a drummer, a saxophonist, and two trumpet players. We went up there. I did not know anybody there. The vibraphonist, I believe, started playing a song because improvised music is all on the spot. We don't prepare for it. We're not playing regular songs. We're not playing things that anybody knows. So the vibraphonist starts the song and everything kind of builds up from the ground. And just as things are starting to become congruent and we're, we've finally started to feel each other out musically, emotionally, personally, through music, through our conversation, uh, the other trumpet player starts blaring his horn into the middle of the group. Everyone kind of pulls back, and I look around, and everyone is frustrated and tense, and they have a scowl on their face. And I sat there, and I go, what do I do? So I put my horn to my face, and I stood there for three minutes without him taking a break. People were breaking off and pretty soon it was just the trumpet player and the drummer. That lasted about eight minutes where I was basically silent the entire time, which is fine, I have no problem not saying anything. But when that's your only chance to play in a given night, you figure that you're going to play a little bit. So, pretty quick after that, we left, and uh, we were on the way home, we were in the Uber, and my partner turns to me and she says, what the hell just happened? And I said, he wasn't listening. She said, oh, so this is all about listening. And I said, yes. Improvised music is an art form that combines every type of music, from classical to jazz to rock and roll to funk. Every aspect and every concept that goes into these musics is combined. There are no rules. There are no set ways of doing it. There's no set number of people who can or can't do it. And you don't have to have any certain level or skill as a musician to, to do it on a basic level. Going back to my first point, something is wrong, and it's because we're not listening to each other. This trumpet player was listening to react, and by doing so, you basically void your listening. When you sit there and listen to somebody, and your first response or reaction is to judge them, whether it's good or bad, or whether you agree or disagree, you're already not listening. You're translating what they're saying into your own terminology to make yourself feel better and to protect your own beliefs. When you listen to understand, you move all that out of the way and you listen politely, kindly, and compassionately to where they're coming from. Everybody has a different story. Everybody has different beliefs, religious, political, ideological, 
across the whole spectrum, and we know that. And it's no news to anybody that we live in an incredibly divisive time in history. All times in history have been divisive, but right now, with social media and the news and everything, it's meant to divide us. It's meant to make us not listen to one another, to judge before understanding. And because of that, we're angry, we're jealous, we don't care. We've spent the past 10 years flooding everybody's newsfeed with information that they don't even care about, or that they don't agree with, or that they don't whatever. And we've gotten to the point where nobody even wants to talk. Nobody wants to have a conversation. Nobody wants to listen. About two years ago, I was asked to come to a house party with some fairly well-known, internationally renowned uh, improvising musicians. They didn't know me, but I had been going to their shows enough in New Orleans that they assumed that I was interested, which I was. I went to the house, and the pianist introduced me to the group of people, and everyone was a little timid, as it usually is when you bring somebody new into a circle, right? And the cellist <clears throat> asked me if I would like to sit in, which means join them for a number toward the end of the night. My heart started beating because I've been looking up to these musicians for a while now. Uh, and I said yes, and I ran out to my car, grabbed my horn, came back in, mingled, socialized a little bit, and sat down on the couch for the house concert. And it was a beautiful, beautiful concert. There was a pianist, a saxophonist, and a cellist, just the trio. And they played about three long pieces, about 12 to 15 minutes a piece. And I realized that they were listening very deeply to one another. And I had yet to have been in a situation, musically, like this, where people were listening. So, toward the end of the night, they said we'd like to invite Alexander up for a song, and they were all very nervous because they had never heard me play. And when you invite a musician on stage that you have never heard play, you get very nervous because it could be very good, but it could also be very, very not good. <laughs> and I've been that person, and I've been the other person. And this time, they said, would you like to start us off? And I said, yeah, of course. <laughs> and I took a deep breath, and I started playing. It was just one long note. And almost instantly, the pianist latched on and turned my note into a melody. Immediately after that, the saxophonist joined on and harmonized my note. And right after that, the cellist came in and she played this beautiful bass line right under everything. And it turned into a symphony within 30 seconds. That piece went on for 15 minutes and it was 15 minutes of pure musical bliss. Everyone in that room was listening to understand. They were listening to collaborate to better this entire environment, to better the musical conversation. Because just like music, whenever we have a conversation, they are the exact same. And we are only listening. That is the only thing that we're doing playing music here today, is we're only listening. So, something is wrong. And it's because we're not listening. However, I think and I believe that if we can start to take down our walls and our biases against one another, our judgments against them because of maybe who we think they are or who we think they aren't or what they believe in, we can start to really connect to one another and understand why they believe those things because that's the real important part. It's not what they believe, it's why they believe it. And once you do that, you bring that connection into the community. 
And at a time when communities are crumbling, that's what we need more than ever. We need to work together through communication and pure understanding. Now, I would like you all to listen with eyes closed to this conversation that Andrew and I are going to have in a different light than you listened at the beginning of this talk. Thank you all very much. Andrew Hewitt.